Okay. <sighs> so. Yeah, you can't really read that very well, but you know, with a smartphone, it is what it is. So, today I'm going to try to hit smithing level 100 on my current playthrough of Skyrim. So, we're going to we're going to see how well I can do that. And then Hope that, you know, this video turns out a lot better than I'm hoping it will. Okay. So, I'm going to let this finish loading. Okay. This is my house, Lakeview Manor, obviously. You know, for it being a smartphone, its graphics aren't half bad. Okay. So obviously, we're going to look at our anvil. Uh, we're at 92, almost to 93. So I've realized that crafting ebony bows seems to be the best bet. Let's see, how much gold do we have? Items, we have 8,901. Let's make that a little bit more, shall we? We're going to head into Lakeview Manor. Oh, wow. There's nothing on the screen. That's interesting. That's the first time that's happened to me. Interesting. Okay. So, we're going to need to go buy ebony ingots or find an ebony uh, ore mine. It's probably going to be the first and not the latter because... Uh, I would have to do my research before. We're going to go sell dragon bones and dragon scales. Where's Serana? Serana, come here. Uh, damn, we are way above our weight, so we should be okay. We're going to give you all of those. And we're going to give you probably that many. No, we're still above. By a lot, and I can't give her anymore. All set. Um, what do I have on me that is sufficiently a lot of weight? Apparel. I highly recommend getting the Aetherial Crown because it's really useful. So basically... Well, we're not really going to get into it but much, but if you wear it, uh, you can use two stone abilities. And so basically I have the warrior stone and the lover stone equipped because of the ethereal crown. And I find it to be very useful. We're going to go and equip all that. And we're going to store our nightingale armor in there real quick. Because, yeah. Ethereal Crown. I tend to use the Mask of Clavicus Vial for the fact that its prices are 20% better, so I get more gold out of it. So we're gonna, we're gonna wear that. Uh, let's see. Food. I don't have much in there. It's not there. I don't understand what I'm carrying with me that is sufficiently that heavy. Huh. Guess it's just the dragon bones. I swear. They're they're too heavy to have this many. <laughs> like way too heavy. I can't wait till I get let's see, no, that's not what I wanted. Skills. Let's see, which one is it? It's not pickpocket. Two handed block, heavy armor. I'll turn no, is it? Is this? I don't think so. I do want to get conditioning at one point because that's that heavy armor weighs nothing. So I plan to go and try and do some heavy armor training, taking quite a bit of hits. Obviously, I picked Dark Elf as my race. 
Um, I've heard that Khajiit is really useful and a lot better than all the other races, so I plan to do that at one point. Trying to figure out where was it? There's a really useful perk in here. It's not in lock picking, it's not in pickpocket, it's in speech. Lure, merchant, investor, fence, master trader, every merchant in the world can. That's a useful one to have. Like, I'd recommend uh, eventually going into uh, merchant and then investor so that you can increase their permanent gold. I, I don't know about fence, but you know, eventually you'd have to get it to where you can get master trader. Crap, I don't remember where it was. Hmm. I'll have to look that up because there's a perk that lets you uh, carry more. I don't remember what it was. Wouldn't be destruction. Reason dead. No, it's not that. Illusion. Manipulating the enemy. Restoration. Is it in restoration? Regeneration. World War Necromage. No, it's not. Yeah, I don't know, but uh, it, it increases your carry weight, so it makes it a lot, like, makes it really useful. It, it increases it by like a hundred, so let's see, let's do that. Oh, now we're at 271. Holy crap, how did, oh, crap, Pfft, that's why I put in 16 instead of why I'm putting in four. Yeah, that's not what I wanted to do. Drag and bone. So we're going to take 10. Okay. Yep, we're good. Right there. And plus, we got all the stuff we have on Serana, and we're good. So, let's see. I guess I'll head to Whiterun first. Sell to him. Okay. Let's see. Go to map. Whiterun here. This is White Run. Fast travel to White Run. Yeah, so at the moment I was kind of uh, running through the Thieves Guild and the Thieves Guild storyline and was about to go fight Mercer Frey. So I was on my way to get the skeleton key. That being said, a friend told me that it'd be better to keep it instead of put it back. So I don't know if I want to do that or not, because then I wouldn't have to worry about lockpicks and all that, and I can just use keys. Although I think, I don't know if I'd want to cheat that as much as that would happen, and wonder if I should keep it or not keep it, and I don't think I want to keep it because I want to actually put, I want to get my lockpicking up, you know? Okay, misc, dragon bone, sell. Yeah, I can make 3,000 gold off of dragon bones, just that they don't have that much gold. And yeah, I don't, I'm, I'm not good at this game. I don't claim to be good at this game, nor do I think I am good at this game. You know, I, I'm average. So. We're going to take a couple of dragon scales from her real quick. Take... Gosh darn it. It's not what I wanted to do. Okay. Still the dragon bones. Okay. Uh, miscellaneous dragon scales. We're going to give her 13. 13. No gonna give her a bit more apparently we'll give her another couple of dragon bones you know there we go okay much better okay we're gonna go talk to Belthor again and miscellaneous dragon scales we're gonna give him one so we can maximize as much gold as we can out of these guys okay also, if you guys want to uh, put in the comments uh, any useful tips that I may be, uh, any, any, any useful tips of things I'm not 
thinking about or ways I could sell these easier. I don't know. It, it it's uh it's interesting, you know. That's food. You probably agree me. Oh crap. <laughs> Realizing they lie to my very face. It's not wise to discuss it here. Please, if you truly wish to know, meet me at my home. I'll tell you the whole story. Just realized I had my headphones still plugged into my switch, so. I'm not going to go into that, because I have a set thing I want to do today. Quest, we're going to do not that. This is the uh, thing, that, this is the part of the uh, Thieves Guild thing I was on, the Thieves Guild storyline. Yeah, I was working with Brynjolf and Carlia, or Carlia to do all that, so, you know. Good. Take a look. I don't think I can sell dragon bones to her. I cannot. That being said, if I had brought my... Okay, I'll sell that to her. Why not? Had I brought all my ebony bows don't that I had spared up, shot. I could have gotten more gold out of this. Oh, wait. While we're here, speaking of ebony, I need to buy all the ebony ingots she has. I don't... Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. As much ebony as I can get. I built it up to where I had around 60, and to be honest, it takes three ebony ingots to craft one ebony bow, so that's only 20 bows, and that only gets you so far. Hey, we got 12 out of this! We'll also take their dwarven metal ingots so we can craft dwarven bows, and we'll take the iron. Dang, I just gave her a lot of gold. Oh my goodness. Hang on, hang on. We're going to fix this. Use Blacksmith Forge. Okay, Dwarven. We're going to craft a Dwarven bow. Look, we're already up to 93. Okay, Ebony. Ebony bow is down here. There we go. Look, we're almost to 94 again. And we're going to get my gold back. And obviously, uh, yes, I do have the house in Whiterun. Uh, it, it is at my disposal in case I were to come here and drop stuff off, you know. Weapons. Ebony bows. Okay. Uh, it's worth it. I'll, I'll take the, uh, the minus 15 gold for that. Uh, I needed to get rid of the weight anyway, to be honest, so we're gonna... Uh, I could have just fast traveled from outside, but, you know. We'll go after the... We'll, we'll go a little sightseeing, you know? Why not? Sightseeing is a little fun in Skyrim because there's so many interesting things you can see. Makes it a really beautiful, uh, beautiful game to play. Like, if you come out over here... Like, just look at this view. It, it's absolutely amazing. It may not look good because I'm on a smartphone, but hey, you know, it, it's not bad. It's really not bad. Okay, that being said, not that map. We're gonna head to... Eh, why not? Let's go to Riverwood. We can, we can talk to... Uh, now I'm trying to remember his name. It starts with an A. Hmm. Probably should have written notes on what I was going to say, but hey. It is pitch black in my room, so I don't think I'd be able to read them that well anyway. Okay. Alvor. There it is. That's his name. Alvor. Oh, he's got 13 ebony ingots. Let's, uh, yeah, we'll take that. 
And look, he's got more money for me. So we're gonna, we're gonna give him the dwarven bow and the ebony bow, and we're gonna sell that to him. Okay, use blacksmith forge. We're gonna craft more ebony bows. Lucky there, we're almost 95. And you know, while I'm doing this, I'm leveling up, so you know, it's not a total waste for me. Okay, weapons. He's got 443. I don't think I have anything else I can really sell to him. No, I do not. And... Do I want to give it to you? That's the question. Actually, maybe we can cheat him out of this. Let's see. Miscellaneous. Iron ingots. 623. That didn't really help. Uh, we'll take his refined moonstone. 175. Okay. Weapons. Ebony bow for 819. You only have 56 gold left. Ha ha. Okay. Next, we'll head to Falkreath. We'll, we'll do all this at Falkreath, too. Kind of also extorting gold out of all of them, so you know. It, it is what it is. Okay. We're going on 16 minutes. Woo. Am I supposed to be impressed? You know, I've never liked the way the guards talk to you. Like, you cast a couple spells. Am I supposed to be impressed? Like, dude, come on, mate. You don't gotta be that rude. I didn't do anything to you. Like, come on. That's kind of just rude. And he has none. He has none. <laughs> we'll take all your iron ingots. Why not? Okay. We have nothing to take his gold from him. See me at my forge that feels arm. bad. Okay. Where to next? Let's see. Markarth. No, I don't know where Markarth is. I gotta do some research into that. Solitude is up next. Dragon. So I'm gonna try and keep these short, you know, not too long. Probably under an hour at least. I'm hoping to keep it under probably 45 minutes. I don't know about that. In case you're wondering, that was the dog. I have my dog in here with me. He, he tends to uh, move around a lot, so I hope you uh, won't judge him for that. Okay, let's see. Is he up here? He is. Okay. Bayrand. Barand? Bayrand? Beerand? <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Please don't yell at me for just butchering his name. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know how to say half the names in this. Okay. Ebony Bow. There's another one. Carrying too much able to run. Dang. I'm also going to talk to the trader here to go get her gold. And yes, it is her. Uh, let's see. It's, I think it's called something and sons in here. I think that's what it's called. Weapons. Give you the ebony bow to get you. Did, I, I went up from 8,000. 8,900 some gold to 10,622. So, you know, this it is really not a bad idea buying the ingots off of all of them and selling it and building stuff and selling it back to all of them. Radiant Remnant. I don't know if this is it. I think I can sell stuff here, though. Although, I may be thinking of Markarth Trader, so I'm not 100% sure. But I'm pretty sure I can sell stuff to this lady. Hello. Missile? Oh, I can't. Okay. Uh, in case you're wondering, this is where you want to come to uh, probably buy a lot of her uh, glass. And uh, she doesn't seem to have any today, though. 
because usually she has glass and uh, goat horns for when you're building your house. So, Finally. if you're ever looking for some of that stuff, you can go there, buy some of that. Maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe that was somewhere else. Oh, this is the place they held the execution for that one dude. I almost died trying to save that dude. I I think I think I might have died actually trying to save that dude. Like there was a dude about to be executed. And they didn't want to they didn't want me to go up on the execution uh, table and I went up on the execution table and they tried killing me. And so I ended up having to pay a fine and almost die in the process. I killed many solitude guards in the process. Yeah, it, it was it was interesting. I'm here to buy arrows. Hello. What have you got? Bows and arrows for the mighty okay, I hate this dude to be honest. Like, I ask him for a bow that can take down dragons. He's like, yeah. <laughs> let's see, let's see. I, I need some arrows that can take down a dragon. And will you also be needing the bow that shoots rainbows, or perhaps a quiver that dispenses beer? Look, this dude is such a dick. I swear to God. Like I'm, I'm not trying to insult your intelligence, sir. It's, it's an actually good question. Do you have an arrow that can take down a dragon? You know. Okay. Skills. Smithings all the way over here. We're almost there. Almost 200. Soon. I don't know if I want to get dragon armor and draconic stuff, so. We're gonna do this. Okay, we're gonna head to Dawnstar. No, I don't know if they have anything in Dawnstar. Let's let's go there. Why not? I don't know if they have a blacksmith there. Kind of just repeating, rinse and repeat, kind of. You know, go buy more ebony ingots, make more ebony bows. Oh, actually, seriously, the guards, like, man, they're so rude. They do have, oh, yeah. I help my the finest weapons and armor. This is probably one of the best places you can probably come and buy stuff, like, they're, they're not rude, to be honest, like, not rude at all. We forge every day if you need it. Seems like no one take a look. But they kind of seem to have the same inventory, so like if you go buy something from one of them, they seem to have around the same amount of gold. And the same amount of stuff in their inventories. I I started like they seem to have like very small different amounts of gold, but Until next time. It, it is what it is, you know. Okay. Dwarven. Craft a dwarven bow. Okay.